Um, I'm gonna do the presentation. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Over there, or over here, wherever you want. Yeah, where there seems to be people, it's a good thing. I don't want to be totally ostracized. No, I was gonna say I was gonna go over there and join you, but that's fine. I would do that, but that's your call. No, 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 that's fine. Good morning, buenos dias. We're gonna get started. We wanna be respectful of everybody's time and we have the mayor with us and we're gonna be respectful of his time. I wanna take this opportunity, darle la bienvenida a todos ustedes. Thank you all so very much for joining us. I'm so proud to be here with an amazing coalition of partners, many of the advocate workers, the employers, city officials, and of course, I uh, wanna acknowledge the women of council who co-sponsored this along with some enlightened men. I'm joined by Councilman Alan Tallenberger, but Councilman Greenlee and others who from, very, from the very beginning were with us and very supportive. We're here to celebrate one of the most comprehensive and progressive domestic bills of rights in the country. Getting this done has been a major victory for the women and men who told their stories and shared them with us. Um, and we're, I'm very happy because it is uh, a culmination of a process, and I'm a very much a process person. Last spring, we held hearings, and we heard from brave workers and employers, again, who were very supportive, and le leaders who spoke about the working conditions and the need for this kind of legislation. I want to thank the National Domestic Workers Coalition and all of the folks from around the country who helped spread the word as Philadelphia engaged in this process. In Philadelphia, many of you know, 16,000 domestic workers are excluded from some basic labor protections, even though we all know the critical work and essential work that they do for many uh, families, um, and many times at the expense of their own personal lives. The result of these hearings is the introduction of the Domestic Workers' Rights Bill together throughout the summer with the support and leadership of the Office of Labor Standards, and I want to acknowledge uh, Deputy Mayor Rich Laser, and particularly Amanda, who, who really took this on and worked with my team. <laughs> In our office, Andre Del Valle, the, who took this on from day one, and was never intimidated by all the smart women in the room, right? Um, the, as I mentioned, the Domestic Workers Alliance and members of the Council's Committee on Labor. Uh, the result was an amended and an agreed upon process with the support of our Mayor, Mayor Kenny, and his team, which he will sign today. Lifting families out, out of poverty means increasing family income. I know the, the administration, along with Council, are engaged in a massive anti-poverty strategy discussion and action plan, which we look forward to um, working with this administration on. Um, this legislation sets national standards, and it's been successful because of our shared values and the belief that everyone's work matters and that our standards of fair treatment apply to others. When I first came to council, I had the opportunity to work with Councilman Good on 21st century living wages. Um, when we did the work at the airport with SCIU and Unite and others, um, one of the things that amazed me the most in that was the stories. The, the stories of Philadelphians who every single day, despite some of the obstacles, um, whether it's from the private sector and sometimes even us in government, the resilience in which they got up every day, uh, standing at the airport at five o'clock in the morning and watching folks catch three buses to get there to earn $200, and watching the power of government, and this mayor in particular who helped us cross that line um, is hugely important. You change people's lives. When I work, walk through the airport now and I run into the workers who say, hey, councilwoman, thank you, because we've lifted them out of poverty. It's a huge, huge, um, it's a huge joy, and I know sometimes in politics we don't always get a thank you, but it's those individual um, interactions that make this all worthwhile. So with that, I want to introduce one of our rock stars in this process. Um, 
I want to also acknowledge, uh, oh, Councilwoman Gibb, thank you for joining us this morning, Councilwoman Helen Gibb, who, as I mentioned earlier, um, was uh, part of the Women in Council to do this. Um, this process was hugely important because we had members of this community um, be an, an, an integral part of what we were doing. And Betania was one of them. Um, her experience in drafting this legislation was huge. Um, she missed work to come to our meetings because she wanted to be part of it. And so today we celebrate Betania and we ask her to join us, Betania Shepherd. <laughs> Muy buenos días. Mi nombre es Betania Shepard. Soy dominicana y tengo nueve años viviendo en Filadelfia. Yo trabajo en limpieza de casas. Tengo cuatro años trabajando como limpiadora. Soy una líder de la Alianza de las Trabajadoras del Hogar en Pensilvania y soy muy feliz que hoy el alcalde firme nuestra carta. Hello, good morning. My name is Betania Shepard. I am Dominican. I have been here nine years in Philadelphia, and my job is to clean houses. I've been cleaning houses for four years. I am a leader with the Dem National Domestic Workers Alliance here in Philadelphia, and um, I am very happy to be here today with the, that the mayor is going to sign our Bill of Rights. Yo he tenido muchas malas experiencias, me han pagado poco, algunos jefes han sido muy groseros. Eh, en otros momentos no me han pagado el dinero prometido, lo que habíamos quedado. Cuando les reclamé para ganar el dinero que, que me debían, me gritaban y me insultaban. Una vez alguien entró en mi trabajo a robar, y después mis jefes me, me prohibieron la entrada en ese espacio donde la persona robó. Aunque yo no tuve nada que ver con ese robo, me trataron diferente por ser latina. Algunos jefes han sido muy groseros. I've had many bad experiences. I've been paid very little and some uh, employers have been very rude. At other times, they have not paid me the money that they promised me. When I asked for them to pay me the money that was owed to me, I was screamed at and insulted. One time, someone entered into where I was working to, with the intention of robbing um, the location, and afterward, my employers would not let me enter that space that had been robbed, even though I had nothing to do with the robbery. I've been treated differently for being Latina, and some of my employers have been very rude. Hasta ahora, yo no tengo nada de beneficios. No tengo un contrato por escrito, vacaciones o tiempo pagado por enfermedad. Hasta ahora, en la ciudad de Filadelfia, he tenido muy pocos derechos legales. Until now, I have not had any benefits. I have not had a written contract, vacation, or paid time off for sickness. Until now, in the city of Philadelphia, I've had very few legal rights. Pero hoy todo eso cambiará. Nosotras, las trabajadoras del hogar, hemos luchado por más de un año para la Carta de Derechos, para tener beneficios como tiempo libre pagado, un contrato por escrito, Descanso pagado, protección contra la discriminación, represarias y traficantes laborales. But today, all of that changes. We, the workers, have fought for more than a year for this Bill of Rights to have benefits like paid time off, a written contract, uh, paid breaks, protection against discrimination, reprisal, and labor trafficking. Okay. Y una voz en la alcaldía con la mesa ejecutiva de las trabajadoras del hogar. Todo eso, todo eso va a aplicar para todas, sin importar su estatus migratorio, nacionalidad o color de piel. 
Ahora tendremos un respaldo y un apoyo para cuando haya abusos. And also fighting for a voice with City Hall on the task force with, along with the, um, the uh, National Domestic Workers Alliance. And all of that is going to apply for everyone without any regard to migratory status, nationality, or color of skin. Agradecemos a todos los concejales, en especial a nuestra patrocinadora principal, María Quiñones Sánchez, y también al alcalde Kenny, por apoyarnos al 100% en nuestra lucha. Hemos ganado la mejor carta, la mejor ley de todo el país, y estamos listas para luchar para, todos los, para que todos los patrones cumplan la ley. We are grateful to the entire city council and especially um, our main advocate and sponsor, uh, Councilwoman Maria Quinones Sanchez, and also to Mayor Kenny for supporting us 100% in our fight. We have uh, managed to craft and obtain the best law in the entire country, and we are ready. <laughs> We are ready to fight for, that all employers will follow this law. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Again, I think it's important, and I'll repeat it over and over because we don't do this by ourselves, and we definitely um, cannot uh, achieve this without the support of so many people. So I want to, again, thank Community Legal Services, the City of Philadelphia's Law Department. Shout out to Rue Landau and the Human Relations Commission. Uh, the, uh, obviously, I mentioned the Mayor's Office of, of Labor Standards, uh, Deputy Mayor Laser, and, and Amanda. You know, not only is this the most progressive legislation, as we've looked through the planning process of really operationalizing it, and I really want to thank the administration for their willingness to, to really think outside the box and commit to help us create a portable benefits uh, tool um, that we hope will set the standard across the country. That, that happens because of leadership and people's commitment to it. Um, so yes, thank you. The round of applause to, for, for Rich and Amanda and the mayor, because that's huge. And again, one of the things I learned, whether it was working through paid sick leave with Councilman Greenlee and obviously the campaign last year for Fair Work Week with Councilwoman Gim, that it does really take a village of folks pulling it together and shared values and a commitment to people is huge, hugely important. Um, I don't know if uh, Councilwoman Gim or Tallenberger quickly want to join us. Okay. So um, we're going to get right to it. So, um, okay, come on. I'm trying... Um, so I, you know, this work has been thanks to the fantastic leadership of uh, incredible women on city council, um, especially Maria Quinones Sanchez, who is an inspiration for me even to be um, running into office. Um, it means a lot, but mostly it's the women who are before me right now um, who have just spoken um, and believe that their stories can change the world. And I think that when we have shown that people speak bravely about their pain, their grief, their trauma, um, their rage, but also their belief that justice must come, and it has to come now, that we can actually change the world. Um, so I want to thank all the women here who just continue to inspire and elevate. Thank you. And, and Councilwoman Gim, just for the record, there were some men that were actually supportive of this as well. And really what, what marked me and, and, and really motivated me, because we've always been a city of immigrants. And every one of my relatives, my aunts, my uncles, they all came from somewhere else. The place they came from was Germany. And they were all domestics, from being a butler to being maids, to being governesses. At that time, they spoke German. But the tradition continues. And the wrongs that were there then have not been corrected until now. 
So I was very enthusiastic immediately at the hearing announced what I just announced to you, that I'm supportive of this bill, I'm glad I am, and I think we're gonna make a big difference, and I truly believe this is the strongest bill in the United States, and let everyone take example. Once in a while in Philadelphia, we do things right, and we do them first. Thank you. Thank you, and I want to take a moment and thank Jamie Gautier, our councilwoman-elect from the 3rd Councilmatic District. I want to welcome her to this work. We will have one additional woman in council. Oh, I, I didn't see Kendra. Also, uh, our councilwoman Kendra Brooks, our new councilwoman-elect. Uh, we're going from six to seven women. Is, is that what, six to seven women? You ladies should know this. Watch out, council. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you ladies for joining us and, and we look forward to welcoming you to the Women of Council group. Um, and then le let me um, uh, take a moment again to once again thank Mayor Kenny uh, and his entire team uh, from day one and when he, particularly when he was in council, Mayor Kenny was one of the, my best allies that is related to the work around immigration and really helped um, empower, uplift, uh, the fights of, of, of and the challenges of, uh, with the immigrant community. He was a supporter, great supporter of municipal ID, language access, and so many different things that we've done in the city of Philadelphia to make everyone feel like this is their city hall, this is their city government. And he's been a crit critical on this on this issue and continues to do so. And his administration has demonstrated it through the many many things that we're doing and the many many things still yet to be done to improve the quality of life for everyone. So with that, our mayor, Mayor Jim Kenney. Thank you, Maria, and uh, for the introduction and for your leadership in getting the Domestic Workers Bill of Rights passed. I want to take a moment to acknowledge everyone in the room today who has helped get us to this moment of signing another historic worker protection bill. To all the domestic workers in Philadelphia, thank you for the work you do every single day to care for our families, our elders, and our children. This is crucial work and is often thankless, so I want to be sure to recognize that and thank you again for all that you do. And to everyone who fought for this bill, congratulations. All of your advocacy has finally paid off, and I want to recognize our city council members, uh, led by Council Member Quinona Sanchez and those who spoke here, who co-sponsored this bill and made sure that it was among the strongest in the nation. For a year, the Domestic Workers Alliance met with our Office of Labor, Rich Laser, members of the Council, and others to help us craft the strongest piece of legislation possible. I want to thank you all for that commitment. Philadelphia has a growing reputation as a pro-worker city, but we know that for too long, domestic workers have been carved out of many labor protections. Domestic workers who are largely women of color and immigrants found themselves particularly vulnerable. They face job insecurity, wage theft, harassment, discrimination, and many other abuses. This bill offers folks basic rights and, and protections that other workers have had for years, and we hope that this will be a turning point for many. When this law goes into effect in May, Philadelphia's domestic workers will have the right to a contract, meal and rest breaks, leave time, and more. This bill also ensures privacy for domestic workers, meaning employers cannot hold original copies of someone's personal documents, monitor their activities such as using the bathroom or changing clothes, or monitor or record their private communications. And importantly, the Bill of Rights also ensures protection from retaliation. This is a, this is a proud moment for our city. Uh, so please join me as we sign the Domestic Workers Bill of Rights, taking a step toward restoring the dignity of work and protecting vulnerable workers. Um, it is all, it's, you know, this is no, always not a pleasant job. Things that we deal with are not always pleasant, but when you do the right thing, you know it's the right thing to do, and it makes you feel that much better about ourselves, our government, our city, our country, uh, and we need that all right now. So uh, I'm glad this is on the eve of Thanksgiving, uh, so we can all give thanks for uh, the, 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 the protections that have been sought and gained, uh, and um, treat each other with more decency and kindness and empathy uh, than we've seen in this country in the last number of years. So let's, uh, let's sign this.
Kendra. Some of you guys can get on this side too. You ladies can see. get over here. You, can, you don't have to be hiding. Shy. Yeah, Jovita. You had a lot to do with it. When this commission was important. Yeah. Really squeeze him. I know. Love each other. Congratulations. Woo!